What up, y'all? It's Chris Weathers, a.k.a. Shorty C94. Back at you again, and couldn't let the year end without doing my top 10 pickups of 2023. You know, hey, if some of y'all are watching and you want to join, what's up, Mustang Chris? What's up, Larry V? What's up, DC23? Hello, everybody joining. What's up, Aaron? What's up, Eddie? Doing a top 10 of 2023. What's up, JB Squared? What's up, Black Tom Hagen? Welcome, welcome. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope everybody has a very, very prosperous 2024. Uh, Chris, I'm just chilling. JB, just chilling, you know. About to show these kicks in a minute, you know what I mean? Um... I guess I'm going to start with uh, my honorable mentions. I know it's a little early, but the first honorable mention, well, two are here and two are not here. Two of them, I forgot in storage and um, what's up, Malicia? Um, but uh, yeah, so the two that aren't here are the Air Jordan 6 Toro. These would have been higher on the list, but the pair I got, they just weren't made well. And to me, something like a Toro 6 especially having been in the business, you know, those really should have came out in 2014. I think we all can agree on that. That was in the middle of that red October hype. Everything was red. Hello to everybody joining, you know. So that was the first honorable mention. It's not here. The other honorable mention shoe that I should have brought that I left in my storage was the Air Kukini in the water colorway. Um, got some joints for $37, <laughs> you know, so... Uh, those are the two honorable mentions that are not here. The Air Kukini OG Water Colorway or, and the uh, Air Jordan 6 uh, Toro Bravo. So those are not here. So my first honorable mention that's here, because it's four of them. What's up to everybody joining? Hello, hello. So we're going to go with this, the acronym Presto. These are from 2018. These simply made the list because I paid like $4 for these. I found these in the bin at the Goodwill Outlet in Greensboro. Uh, yeah, they were they were cheap. They are a little dirty. So I had to put some love into them, but I always wanted some acronym Prestos. So uh, this is honorable mention number three. What's up, Dre? Yeah, DC, they was $4. They were... They were covered in dirt and they were rubber banded together. They were underneath a bunch of clothes. So I really had to put some love to him. Uh, Shulius was trying to get me to get these to him because he said it's the only pair that uh, that he was missing out of that first four pack of 2018. So this is um, honorable mention number three. Thanks to everybody in the comments. You know what I'm saying? So the next, um, mm, this is a tie. <laughs> I know y'all like this dude. Let me get to another one. So. Uh, my next one is a Converse. What's up, X? Gonna give it to you. What's up, the balls? So these were kind of tied. They're really the same. So we'll just have them both. Um, the Casina Converse weapon and the Fragment Converse weapon. Um, I got lucky somebody returned these to the Converse factory store, which I manage at. So, you know, you see that fragment right there. And then I, what I want to do is get my Travis Scott fragments and take a picture with these and those. I might end up doing that. But, um, with these fragments, I was able to get them with, you know, the Nike love. So they only ended up being about 70 65 bucks, something like that. What's up, Ink and Money? What's up, Your Secret Desire? Um, so, yeah, I got these. And I just got these in the mail. I got these on Converse.com. On December 20th, they let all employees get even the collab stuff like CDGs and whatnot for 50% off. So I was able to get these for like $70. So these are kind of tied just because they're so similar. So this is the last honorable mention. And now we're about to jump to number 10. What's up, ILAP? What's up, Gentleman Soul? What's up, Antonio Liddy? Mario's son? What's going on, man? You know? All right, so 
Number 10 is a shoe I've wanted for a while. It's a triple collaboration. Um, it's a collaboration with Kith, Disney, and Converse. It is the Mickey Mouse 90th anniversary Chuck 70. Um, you see, it's got Disney on the insole with the Converse, and it's got all the Mickeys through the years, and it's still got the Kith logo right here. So I was really pumped to get these. These are really hard to find in my size. Um, you know, I, I love these. So um, if I didn't find so much better stuff ahead of it, these would probably be higher on the list because I've been wanting these for some years. These came out in 2018 or 19. I think 18 because I think Mickey started in 1928. Uh, so, yeah. So love, love, love these. I have worn these once. So, yeah, I'll see. All right, so the next shoe is also one that I've wanted for a really long time. Shout out to everybody in the comments, everybody watching. So the next one is a Tom and Jerry Chuck 70. See, it's got the Tom and Jerry right here. And then it's got embroidered Jerry right here, embroidered Tom right here. Um... Whenever I see these in my size, they're usually $300, $350. With the Mickeys I just showed y'all, when I see them, they're usually about $250. Um, I was able to get those Mickeys for around $90, and I was able to get these for $120. So, I mean, again, just the detail. I don't know if y'all can see that embroidery. Um, yeah, so then y'all see the embroidery there. So these are number nine. I've been looking for these for a couple years, too. These are from, I want to say, 2019. Oh, man. Yeah. What's up, Loves Jones? So if any of y'all watching want to hop on and show me y'all's, you know, top tens, you know, we could definitely do that, too. I'd love to see them. Um, the next pair, this is a, a, a grail. Um, I've wanted these since the early 90s. Um, so I'm going to just show y'all, uh, this is number eight. It is the Timberland 1978 boot. Um, it's got the Timberland, the EST 1973, still got the uptown cheapskate tag on it. They were $64.99. Um, it says Timberland Authentics, Sydney W. Schwartz founder on the inside. And if y'all are ever thrifting or something, you see something with a Vibram sole. You got to get that. You got to get something with it. It's, it's, it's some real shit if it's got a Vibram sole on it. So um, they have these in a couple different colors. This isn't, I wanted the lighter brown one, but to be able to finally find these in almost 30 years of thrifting, I've never seen these ever. So to finally have this, this means so much. What's up? Keep it simple, 731. Um, so yeah, these were a Timberland Grail of mine. And I was able to find them at Uptown Cheapskate uh, a few months back. I still haven't worn them. They still got the tag on them. But, you know, I haven't even cleaned these or done anything to them. So, what's up, Mac? 4650. So, yeah. Um, so, this is number eight. So, number seven. Hmm. <laughs> number seven. I know I'm going to get some hate for this, but I love these. These actually came out in January of this year. You got the Rick Owens Turbo Weapon in the Larry Bird colorway, black and white or black and cream, whatever you want to call it. These came out in January. Um, see, they got the, the Converse on the inside there. It's got the Rick Owens Converse star on the bottom. It's basically just an exaggerated version of... The Converse weapon. You know, when Rick Owens was with Adidas, he did the same thing to the Adidas Pro model, called it the Mastodon. So it's basically an exaggerated Pro model. I also think Rick Owens is the one who designed the Air Jordan 1 Elevate, you know, for the ladies, because it's set up exactly the same. And I always feel like when these collaborators collaborate with brands, they make them make kind of inline product on the low. 
like they kind of ghostwrite it. Like when all that Just Do It stuff came out in 2018, it looked like off white. Like I'm pretty sure Virgil made that stuff and just kind of like ghost wrote it. So um, I think Rick Owens did that with the Air Jordan 1 Elevate for the ladies. But this is the turbo weapon. So I have the all, I, well, I should say I have the all black and cream one. But obviously, if I knew these were going to come out, I would have just, you know, just got these. But these are one of my favorite Converse's. They're probably the second most expensive Converse shoe that I have purchased. Um, so, yeah. So, these are number seven. What's up, what's up Sapphire J? <laughs> uh, all right. So, the next shoe... Um, <clears throat> This is another kind of grail level shoe that I have been wanting for a while. It is the Converse and Stussy uh, Pro Leather High. This is a first string release. It's kind of like Nike Tier Zero. Converse calls theirs first string. Um, these were really limited. You see it's got the Stussy logo. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the back there. It's got all the patchwork. What's up, Jay Van? So... Yeah, these these are from 2012. See, they've even got Stussy branding on the inside there. Y'all probably can't see it with the light, but, you know, I love these. I've been wanting these for, for some years. So I actually wore these on Black Friday, um, you know, and, and they were they were pretty good, you know. Um, I hate that I don't have the box because one of my favorite things about the pro leathers from this time period and them being first string releases is they um they have a picture of Dr. J on the box when he was in the ABA with the Nets. So um yeah, I I, I love these. Um being able to get these, I got these for seventy four dollars. This is another shoe. Usually when I see it, they're at least two hundred. So this was one of my best pickups and that is why it is number six. So now we're in the top five. We're in the top five. So this next shoe I'm about to show y'all is a shoe I've always wanted. Um, it never came out until last year from its original release. And I was lucky to find my pair with the box at... Did um, I bring the box in here? Yeah. I was able to find it with the box What's up, phone 509? Um, at Uptown Cheapskate, and they were $69.99, were these. Now, I have the all-black all-star pair from 2014, and I have the Orlando from 2011. They're both still going strong, you know. I appreciate that, Mac4650. Thank you very much. But, yeah, I was able to find these at an Uptown Cheapskate. So... Um, cause they had them on Nike and, you know, they were never in my size where I could have got, um, could have got them. So, um, and they were in really good shape. I mean, I had to kind of clean the bottom and I've worn them twice since I had them. Um, but yeah, the original paper, I don't know if y'all can see. <laughs> Oops. Uh, there's the original sticker at the top of the paper there. Hey, Courtney. Yeah, Larry V, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm surprised they brought them back, too. So, yeah, man, they finally brought these back. I could have swore they had an all-white one like this come out at the beginning of 2001. But, you know, maybe I'm just imagining things. But it's really good to have all three original colors of this. I would have liked to have gotten the 2020 to Orlando. I got the social status pair. They're still dead stock. I thought I was going to wear them and they're still sitting. So, um, yeah, Ash, welcome. You got to wear these. You, you one of the most penny people I know. You got to break these out. I'll be looking for you to have a fit with those. So that was number five. So we've got four more shoes. Oh, let me bring them a little closer. So the next shoe I actually just found these on my birthday. Um, I missed the release when they came out in September because they sold out and I didn't think they were going to sell out. Is it true the Royal Blue Foams are coming out next year? Yeah, that's what they say. 
the royal blue phones are supposed to look like the ones in the phone ad from 1997 where the swoosh is not going to be white it's going to it's going to be white but it's going to have a blue outline on it and the carbon fiber is going to be a different color so i guess that was a sample and they're going to actually release them this way so i'm going to be on the lookout for those so but getting back to it these came out in september they sold out you know most releases like this don't really sell out anymore but I was able to find these, the Air Jordan 8 Playoff. This is the 2023 release. You see the red pull tab here. I found these on my birthday when I was with QC Kiki Cutie and Real Big Owl Kicks in Durham at um, Plato's Closet in South Point. And I got these boys, well, they were priced at $60. I don't know why they were only $60, but they were $60. So what's up, Yousef? What's up, Jason? Um, so yeah, this was like a birthday gift from the Lord himself. He was like, here, Christopher, you can have this. What's up, Dana? So yeah, I was able, and then I had a 20, a $20 off coupon. So they really only ended up being $40. So, you know, nobody really got me a birthday gift. So <laughs> you get all the goods on the low. Oh man, I just, I try, man, you know. Um, hey, anybody in this live, you want to, you know, get on and show your top 10, feel free. But yeah, 40 bucks out, out the pocket for these. They were priced at 60. Um, still got the, the Nike Air on the inside. I have worn these once, so there are some, you know, but the bottom, I had got the bottom looking back brand new. The only thing they didn't have was they didn't have a box. If they'd have had the box, it'd have been like more than perfect. But yeah, this was like the bir a birthday gift from the Lord himself to me, so... These are uh, number number four on my top ten of the year. I would have swiped my car so fast to ride out of there before they could catch. It. Yeah, hey, the girl was like, I mean, they go for three hundred, and I'm like, you know, because I didn't think these were gonna sell out. You know, none of the other Jordans that aren't ones or fours, you know, sell out. You can get fives, sixes, sevens, you know. I was really surprised that these went the way they did. I was actually waiting for Nike to restock. Because Finish Line restocked them. But, you know, since I work for Nike, I'd rather get the love. So it'd only be like $126 instead of 210 or however much these are. But getting them for $40 was even better than that. So, yeah, I, I, I'm really um, excited to have these. Because I have the 2007 Retro. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. But, like, right... Actually, on this shoe, right here... It's starting to split. They're still wearable, and they aren't even cracking too much in here like retros from 2007 do. But yeah, the the this plastic is starting to split. So these came right on time, right on time. So I'm really excited for these. Okay, so now we're at number three. So number three is a shoe near and dear to my heart. And I know y'all. If some of y'all are in the hoops, you'll be confused. When I show y'all this by wearing this jersey, but I have another pair of Larry Bird Converse weapons. Now I know most of y'all, y'all may not be into Converse. I mean, they're they're my employer, but it is so hard to find the black and white or Larry Bird Kevin McHale Converse weapon. As prevalent as the weapon was in the early 2000s, if you were buying sneakers in the early 2000s, you had a pair of these, or you at least saw people with them. I remember when they came out in April of 02, I ended up getting me and my dad a pair of the Magics. I still have my Magics. They're actually up there. Um, eventually, I doubled up on them, but yeah, I, I should have just, <laughs> just said forget him, and I should have got these and those, and then just went back, or I should have went back for these or whatever, but it's so hard to find these. So I ended up finding these on Poshmark randomly for $55. Usually when I see these, it's usually never in my size. And if it is, it's, they're at least $400. Now, since they are from 2002 and all weapons from 02 do this, they are starting to chip a little bit. But shit, I don't care. I'm just so excited to have these. What's up, Soul Out, my mind? So... This is number three, just because it's so hard to find these. You know, I, I can't believe that I have a pair. Because I have the 2009 pair, but they're really a half size too small. And I have the, you know, I just showed y'all the Rick Owens. I have a couple other versions of this shoe, but this is like the truest to OG form 
one that they make. So, um, yeah, I hope Converse and Nike get together and bring these back since Jordan 1s and Dunks have kind of cooled off a little bit. They can bring and put these in the marketplace because I have the Weapon CX version of this too. But if these come out, I'm getting two pairs of these, two pairs of the Magics, and I'm going to get one pair of every other uh, player one. Mark Aguirre had one. His was white and green because he was on the Mavericks. Um, Isaiah had a white and blue one because, of course, he was on the Pistons. Bernard King had a white and orange one because he was on the Knicks. And then, you know, Magic had the Lakers win and Bird and Mikhail wore these. So it's, to finally have these is, is just great. Because you can find the Magics. I mean, they're going to run you a pretty pity too, but it's so hard to find these. All right, so now we're up to the top two. Now, this shoe I'm about to show y'all next, number two. Y'all probably ain't never seen it before, but I got to tell y'all about these. So, this is the Converse Made in Maine boot. What's up, Black85? Now, this is the only semblance of it saying Converse. You see how it says All-Star right there. So, these are from 2012. They only made 80 of these. They were like cobbled personally. It was a collab with Converse and the Highland Boot Company, which is in, in uh, Maine. That's why these are called the Made in Maine Boots, because they personally cobbled each pair, and they only made 80 of these. They came out at random boutiques in New York City and in Boston. That's the only place these came out, and they only made 80 of these. These are Horween leather. Um, this is a Vibram sole as well. What's up, Matthew? KJV. Um, I mean, you, you could just look at this boot and tell this ain't, this ain't no regular Converse Chuck Taylor black and white. You know, this is this is this is some shit right here. You know, when they when they came out at retail, the 80 pairs, they were three hundred and fifty dollars. You know what I mean? So this is definitely the rarest Converse I own right now. So I'm I'm really excited about having these. There's only one pair of these on eBay and they're eight hundred dollars, you know, because they're just so limited. I was on. Offer up. I was on offer up on Christmas Day. It's the first Christmas I had to spend alone. So I was just up here chilling, watching, you know, basketball. And I was just going through offer up, just looking at Converse's. And somebody actually had a pair of these. And I'm like, the fuck? That's the made of main boot. And they were only $150. 80 pair. They retailed at $350. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put on with this. Because, you know, this is some old salvage denim Real nice top, real date night kind of deal. You know, if I ever get to get a date, you know what I'm saying? Real, real smooth like right here. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't your regular Converse. You see how that Converse is on the insole right there? Whew. And these laces, this is all Horween leather. So, yeah, I could go on and on about these. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I can't believe I actually have a pair of these. So, all right. <clears throat> I have gone on and on enough about that boot. What's up, Eddie J? What's up, Henny Does It? So my last shoe, number one. <laughs> uh, uh, shout out. <laughs> That's funny. Shout out to you, Belisha. Those ain't snow shovel boots. Yeah, you're right, Larry. They ain't. They ain't. So y'all know, this is my number one pickup of the year. The Air Jordan 3 reimagined white cement now this this shoe is special i mean i have every other og3 i have other pairs of these but this pair is, is special um so i have the the last white cement three i bought was the o3 pair and they're starting to crumble like all up in here and then a lot of my shoes uh what's up chris a lot of my shoes got messed up when, you know, moved down here. Some of my vintage pairs didn't make it. Or ones that were on the bubble like those 03 cements were. So, I had just moved into, you know, this place. And I was getting some work done on my car. And um, 
I was at the McDonald's next door to the um, to the car place, and I was talking to real big Al Kicks on the phone, and um, I was like, "Oh shit, they doing a shot drop for the threes. I ain't gonna hit, but at least I'm gonna try." And I ended up hitting. So I was excited. You know, it was the first. I've taken a lot of L's over the last year and a half. So this was one of the first wins that I got. Um, not even just sneaker L's, but personal L's. You know what I'm saying? It's been it's been hard. But, you know, this is another one. I feel like the Lord just wanted me to have these and he gave them to, to me. You know what I'm saying? So. Welcome. But, yeah. So getting these with my other pair of crumbling. It was a really big deal to me, and I like the the pre age sole. Um, of course, the Nike Air, and to me, these look better than the um, than the eighty eight threes that came out in two thousand thirteen. Because this Nike, oop, <laughs> this Nike Air is a little more um, it's a little more consistent. It's, it looks better. That that other Nike Air on the eighty eight pair is kind of anorexic the way it looks. It's it's all thin and. It doesn't look like this look like 1988, you know, so got the hang tag. Um, oh. Got the the box. Well, this is half of the boxes on the floor. But yeah, this this is my shoe of the year. Now, there are some shoes that I would have liked to have had. I would have liked to have gotten the Air Fleet 2. Um, I still need to get the Burgundy 5 and the Chambray 7. Um, so it's still some pairs that. In 2024, I am going to get, but this is my shoe of the year. Thank you, JB Square Five Kicks. I appreciate that. So again, if anybody in this live, you want to hop on and show your top ten, you know, or you know, if you want to talk sneakers, tell me what y'all are looking for for 2024. There's some heavy hitters in here, so I know, you know, it's people looking for stuff. When I'm thinking of 2024, I gotta get a new pair of UNC Nines because. My pair appears to be wearable from 2010, but, I mean, you never really know. All of my sixes from 2010 have begun to start to... Okay, we got DC-23. I just hit accept. What's up, Rochelle? All right, there he is. Happy New Year, brother. Hey, man. How you doing? Big things out there, man. Yeah, doing lots of stuff, man. It's actually been a really busy, busy year, so I haven't been, like, posting much, but I'm still buying sneakers. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. yeah. Show me uh, show me what you what you to cop this year, man. Well, so I'm supposed to do so, like, a show with uh, Big Al tomorrow, so we're going to we're gonna go through, like, kind of our – I, I still got to think of that list because it's been – I think it's been an amazing year. <laughs> so like so much of my middle school shoes were copped this year and i was just like so pumped so um i so with you i think i'm just going to talk about my top jordan brand only okay cool cool it was i mean people have been hating on jordan brand i've been loving jordan brand <laughs> so for me the the shoot the year started out with the actual hoop shoe but the low so they're white and they've been getting real dirty, but they've gotten some playing time. And uh, I'm flat footed and these ones work with my flat feet really well. So I was excited to get the, was that 37 low? So that was, that was the beginning of the year. And then this shoe cracked me up because he didn't even claim the shoe, no. Tatum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't even funny. claim it. And then he was like trying to say, oh, that's not it. But then this one kind of, sorry, I didn't really set up with lighting but it's got like a little leather end and stuff and it's a really good hoop shoe to play if the court's not dusty but it's really soft like a curry it's foam so it it's not a really durable shoe definitely not an outdoor shoe but it's a it's a good hoop shoe from from my perspective so and then next one would be uh, the zions they were an amazing hoop shoe but they um are too narrow so, mm. my opinion, way too narrow. Designed like a Kobe with the drop-in midsole. Um, mm. Super super fun to play in. I like how the outrigger comes out and stuff. Like, it's a very confident shoe, but it's very narrow. If you don't put it on right, it has, like, a really grippy insole where, like, the drop-in midsole. 
And so, like, if you don't get your socks right, you got to, like, take it all off and start all over again because it is terrible. <laughs> and then probably my favorite hoop shoe from Jordan Brand was the 38. Like, mm. we've talked in the past, and, like, the 8 was a special shoe because that was the one that, you know, the year after it came out. My friends had already had it for a year, but it was on sale in the BX. So, yes, sir, had to get them, you know. But um, so this one, I was, I was a little disappointed they didn't have a strap. Like, the... That X yeah. is supposed to, like, you know, represent the strap. But I'm like, come on, man. They need, like, at least give us one or something. I don't know. I was yeah. a little disappointed in that design. But the overall feel of these is awesome. And I'm uh, trying to hope, since I already got a pair, I'm hoping that that aqua color goes down in price. And I want to pick those up, too. Because those, are, those hey, are hot. Let me know about that. Um, what, what size are you? Um, I in these I'm probably a ten. Oh no, nine and a half because they they ran a little big. All right, I know you got the show coming up with with Al. Yeah. So I know you ain't got you don't show me all that because that's gonna be a dope show. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I might I might might have a have on, on those aquas. You just let me know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I like the sound of that. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, this again, kind of on performance side. I was shocked. Like, Nike has been dropping so much stuff that is, like, like unattainable PEs, you know, that, mm -hmm. like, and nobody cares. And it's awesome because then they go on sale. And so I had to pick up the Federer-inspired Ooh. threes. Ooh. So that's a tennis shoe. Ooh. But, like, uh -huh. these were, like, unattainable. Like, these were, like, I don't know, like, in the, like, 500 plus, 1,000 range if you mm -hmm. wanted to get them or something yeah and i'm like what you can just go get them for cheap like that's cheap. crazy so i was pumped on those yeah that was, that was a good that was a good uh a good find did you see all of my my top 10 or you want me to run it through again i i saw your top 10 i was i was in for the whole thing that was a lot of converse yeah yeah but yeah. like special converse like that was cool and some boots yeah just just some you know it's i don't know my love for for converse is i don't know i don't know i don't know if it's anybody out there in the sneakerhead space that really fucks with them like like me so i don't even want to know how many converse like chucks you have like it's got to be crazy nah man honestly all converse included chucks and other stuff is close to five so, <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I mean, this whole, Wait, whole room 500 or five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> for now, for now, five hundred. <laughs> okay, okay, that's awesome. So, um, what shoes are you looking so at trying it. to get next year? What's that? Oh, I still got some more. Oh, okay. Hey, cool, cool. My <laughs> that's like what five, I think. But that's mostly. Per I kind of start on the performance end. So then the finishing with the retros, and then you mentioned these earlier. I had to get them; they were on sale, and my pair is pretty clean. So. Mine had a bunch of blemishes. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, they're in the suede. You know, suede's nice. I don't know. I'm more about the looks and the like materials. So mm -hmm. some people get all super stuck on the materials. I just like I'm just happy to have the shoe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think we can agree. Those really should have came out in 2014. I mean, I mean, they like you're saying. You were saying because of red October's and stuff. Yeah, that would have been that would have been a hot pairing for sure. Mm -hmm. But that also might have been why they didn't. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So keeping the focus on, you know, Kanye or whatever. So, and then these ones, I was surprised that nobody cared about these. Like, how did nobody care about these 13s? Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, they haven't been out in 12 years. Nobody cared. It was crazy. I was like, that is an automatic cop for me. Yeah. And then, again, it was, it was a crazy Jordan here. This is just Jordan. So had to get these. You already showed them. Mm -hmm. That was the must. That was the the third grade nostalgia coming through. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. And then we finished out the year on purchasing with one of these. Mm -hmm. Hit on those. I can hit on anything Jordan. Sneakers hate me for Kobe. I'm and oh. I like red. For Kobe, they were saying like if you've missed out on six six pairs of shoes. And um and you've bought performance basketball shoes, so I was like feeling really good about these last mm -hmm. two. I'm like, oh yeah, I've missed out on way more than six. 
you know, so I should be good. But no, no love for Kobe's. I wanted those reverse Grinches, but nothing. But anything Jordan brand, I can hit. Crazy, crazy. I like your setup, too. What's that? I like your setup, too. Uh, in the closet? Yeah, man. Now you got everything, you know, you got the, the clothes there, and then the kicks is right on top. It's real convenient. Yeah, I, I need to uh, rethink it, though. And I've, there, I had to bring a couple boxes from my office. And then it feels weird to finish out the year with these, but hit on oh, these, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are really comfortable. Like, and I don't know, I've always been a, a sucker for the gum sole, and I think that comes from my love for the sambas mm -hmm. so i can see that but yeah so that's that's my 10 10 dust jordan brand so i thought it was an amazing jordan brand year performance wise and retro wise like both of them like all like i didn't get any lucas but i think the zion line and the tatum line and for kids that are actually wanting to hoop like that's so cool you can get it for under like 120 bucks you know so getting, being able to hoop for the quote-unquote cheap Although that was expensive when we were kids, but yeah, it was a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's 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 good now. I, I like I like uh, where it seems like the sneaker game is going. Yeah. So you know, it makes me uh, it makes me feel good about the future. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, I mean, and especially because it's performance shoes. I mean, when people do dog Jordan brand, it's like, did we forget it's a basketball brand? Yeah, like. like <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's kind of like one thing I find myself saying over the years is, yeah, aesthetically, those may not be the best, but they're probably a monster on the court. Which ones? Just any, a lot of the Jumpmans and Team Jordans, I'm saying yeah. a lot of them, aesthetically, they may not be as pleasing, but, you know, I, I always say to myself, I'm like, they don't really look all that great, you know, for casual wear, but they're probably a monster on court. Right. Something like a Zion or, or a Luca. <laughs> Right. When Jimmy I mean, Butler if you got a narrow face. foot, that Zion is a killer shoe. Because, like, one thing that they did with that drop-in midsole that they haven't done to, like, most other drop-in midsoles mm -hmm. is it's got – sorry, it's tight shoe. It's actually got, like, a torsion plate. Oh. So oh, you got wow. You got the, the bouncy, like, you know, foam, but in the zoom. And so performance-wise, this feels amazing. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the play strong and play fast in the Kobe 7. Yeah. You know? oh, that's pretty good. I, that's, that's a lot of technology in there. Yep. yep. And for like 120 bucks. It's, it's crazy. It's a crazy deal. So, yeah, man. Good. And you just reminded me of uh, uh, some pair of what was like one of the Team Jordans, too, I found this year. I, I like had to hit up Al. I was like, they're so cheap. <laughs> I was so pumped <laughs> to have to find them. I mean, it wasn't like a like a key or a shorty deal, but it was a deal to me. I mean, I'm, I don't find shoes for $4. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was pure luck right there. But yeah, I'm a, um, cause I got these and they were not $4. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not $4. Yeah. Shout out Kaiser. Shout out that Shay girl. Uh, oh man. Oh man. So what, what, um, what Jordans are you looking forward to uh, next year? I mean, I'm always going to be interested in the actual, you know, the line. So the 39, whatever that is. Um, and then and I am interested in the bread fours, even though they're all leather, like, mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't care. <laughs> or yeah. or is it, was it leather or suede? It's all suede, right? The regular or the, the one that's the, coming out? The ones that are coming out. They're gonna be leather this time. Oh, it's leather. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't. I'll. I'll go for him. And like I said, because it's Jordan, I'll probably hit. If it was Kobe, I wouldn't. Yeah. Sneakers I haven't bought. Me for Kobe's. The last higher up Jordan I bought was the thirty-two. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, it's been a little they, bit. Um, they've been making good hoop shoes for from like the thirty-four. That thirty-four was nice. I still want a pair of white, black, and red thirty-four. Yes. Yeah. Um, probably my favorite higher up Jordan is. And when I say I guess I mean beyond uh, you know thirty, I have the thirty one, the Russell Westbrook one with the cement mm. with the thirty bottom. That's probably my favorite high up Jordan 
over 30. They've been doing that a lot too, giving you like cement texture, mm-hmm. like the Zion. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. And the Lucas got it too. And I think I think I got a pair of Tatums with it as well. Because I got a couple of the Tatums. Okay, okay. So, because like I said, it's a soft shoe. It definitely feels similar to a Curry, but that Curry, it the traction's actually too much. I feel like mm. I'm going to hurt myself every time. Like, I'll do a little bit of toe drag or something like that, and then I get stuck and then almost fall over. So, yeah, see, this is the most recent curry I got is the six. Okay, <laughs> nice. So, no flow on that. Nah, uh, nah not yet. I, I got to get some, uh, something else because I got one through, through three, and then I got the six. I don't have a four or five or any of the new ones. So, so. All, all the new ones are the same, honestly. And my buddy designs for Curry Brand. So, nice. Like, yeah. It's, so uh, it it's all flow tro. Yeah. What's up, Jojo? Opposite Grizzly, aka Grits. Damn, Gina. Uh, so, what what um? I guess beyond the the line, are there any retros that have piqued your interest? Um, for like the future or this yeah, past next year, but beyond the uh, Ford, were you looking at anything else? Um, um, nothing that was like really popping out this year was nuts. Yeah. yeah. I, I still need some nines and tens, though. Yeah, well, the UNC nine is one that I'm looking at uh, yeah. this year. Oh, um, they are doing the UNC nine? Mm-hmm. I see that. And um, I need another pair of olive fives. Mine crumbled during the pandemic. And it's something else. It's another other shoe I can't think of. This. Oh, I got, I'm got. i going to give the, the yellow ochre one and six some consideration. Man, I'm... I told my my buddy offered me a good deal on the ones, on some ones, and I was like, like dude, I think I got too many ones. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think I actually need to sell some ones. <laughs> like, I was just like, I want space for other stuff. So nah, I get you. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you hopping on here, Dan. I know you're a busy sure. man, and I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely hit you up about those uh, those aquas in a few. Well, well I'm not gonna. Refuse that call or that text, whatever it is. For sure, man. For <laughs> sure, man. Well, all right, man. Well, all right, brother. Well, happy new year. And uh, thanks for your, having me on. And we'll chat soon. And yeah, me and Big Al, we plan on doing something tomorrow, too. I'm like stressed out because I can't, it, like I said, it's such a fun year for like retros. And I've got a couple reachbacks, too, that I found for like decent deals. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It was a good, good year for sneakers, even though I haven't been posting. Still purchasing. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Man, thanks Still once again. And uh, I'll be in touch. All right. Happy New Year, bro. Happy New Year. All right. Definitely Isle of Nines. Yeah. So if anybody else wants to hop on and show me their top 10, you know, I'm going to be on for a little while longer. You know, if y'all want me to run back through, if you wasn't on for the start of the show when I showed the shoes and talked about my honorable mentions, I can do that too. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. I just appreciate y'all being here with me. It's uh, it's been a mostly good day, you know. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Run back, Vanez Watson. Okay, so I'll run through them real quick for y'all that wasn't on um at first. So, <clears throat> I had a few honorable mentions. Nike Dunkhead. Okay, Mustang Chris. I'm gonna I'm, I'm going to run it back for y'all. I'll do that. Um, let's see what my homie is talking about. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing, man? Tell him, man. Good to see yeah, you, man. Me too, man. You too. Yeah, yeah. Well, what you, what you, uh, what you copping this year, man? What you did grab? What did I grab? Um, I grabbed, um, the playoff eights was definitely a cop for me. You know, I'm an OG collector. I- Stuff. No. I had to get those. Um, what else did I get? I went back. I got some, you know, some older cops that I wanted. Okay. You know, the, the old, the DMP, the the 11s. I needed those in my collection. Because okay. you know, I'm the 11s. They still, they still got the OGs. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I'm a big OG guy. So you know, a lot of people don't realize like, like the OG stuff. Like I got, I've been wearing these lately. No, you're, you're up oh. to these. Oh yeah, yeah, Grant Hills, Grant Hills. Tupac, 
All eyes on me. Famous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. Um, a lot of people I was wearing these today. I think these are starting to gain traction now. Oh, the 15s. Okay. Yeah. Nice. 2017 stouts. So a lot of people wonder what they are. They're like, what are these Jordans? I'm like, yeah, they're Jordans. Like, you got to know the history of them, you know? <laughs> um, only a real sneakerhead could appreciate these. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, for sure. It's um, you know, it's been a it's been a, a heck of a year, you know. But I just been buying, you know, a little bit what I like, you know. I mean, here and there, you know. I mean, like these here, I like these. I've been wearing these too a lot. Okay. The nine. Okay. Red nines. A lot of people. Two thousand eighteen. You know, I like to be different, you know. For sure. I've I've been actually trying to hunt down a lot of the OG stuff, you know, from like. The ninety four breads, the the ones or whatever. I was trying to get those. Um, it's just hard to find a lot of the OG stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, I got to show these because I know you'll appreciate them. You know, my ninety four uh, Chicago's right here. Oh, love, you know, love. So, I, oh, go ahead. My, my bad. No, no, those, those. I mean, that's that's what I'm looking. I'm looking for a pair of those actually right now. I'm trying to source a pair, but it's hard to find them. You know, I've been looking on eBay. Um, it's just, it's hard to find them, you know, it's hard to, to, to source these shoes, you know, the older shoes, because a lot of them, like, you remember when I brought in the steel tens with the toe cap, I still got those, the, the dead stock ones yeah. um, back from the Coventry days when we were over at next, you mm -hmm. know, um, still got my OG, the 95s dead stock. They're doing well. It's just, you got to really, you know, know how to take care of them, you know, to preserve them. You know, it's kind of like a, there's a lot of stuff you have to go through to, preserve these shoes you know it's crazy you know being a collector and me being a collector but I, I i'll tell you what i've been really happy this year because the sneaker culture i think is changing you know as you know it's not like shoes that you weren't able to get years ago you have to get raffle and stuff i mean but you could walk in a store and you can get a pair of playoff 13s you know and they're sitting on the shelves which is for me you it's it's excellent you know what i mean like you don't get that you know, you weren't getting that years ago. You, you know, you have to fight the resellers. And uh, hopefully this year that it's still the same. It still has the same going the same way that it's going to be the same, you know. Right. I'm, I'm hoping for that, you know, because there's, I mean, 20, 2024, it's stacked with a lot of good releases. Um, I'm really sure. uh, excited to get the, the nines, the powder blues, the nines, mm -hmm. you know, the Carolinas. I definitely want those in my collection. Um, there's there's a lot of good releases coming up. You know, I even seen that they're doing the Bread Elevens, but they're doing them in the women's with the, with the velvet. Yeah. Yes, which I'll end up getting those just because they're they're different. They're cool, you know. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited, and I'm 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 kind of excited that they're doing the Columbias. You know, they're yeah. doing the yeah, I gotta have you those. Know, a lot of people don't like them because they're saying, "Oh, the the OG, the patent and leather," but they don't realize that in you know '96. That was a true form, that high cut patent leather, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what I like about them. You know, they did the breads, they did the con, you know, the concords, which I wish they would have did. I know we got the concords with the forty five on the back, but I wish they would have just gave us the twenty three. But I'm sure down the road, five, six, seven years from now, they'll re-release them and do them with the twenty three on the back. You know, they gave us the PE version with the forty five on the back. Yeah, yeah. Well, it seems every five, five to six years they come back. So we'll yeah, they do. See they that. So. Yeah, and, and, yeah, I'll be happy to get that in my collection too. You know, I've just been trying to get a lot more of, um, you know, the OGs. You know, in the two thousands, um, I bought the, I just picked up, I ain't got them down here, but the, the, the ones, the silver, the, the ones that came in the, the briefcase. Yeah, two thousand one. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I got those. Yeah, I had to get those. That was back, you know, back in the day. You could walk into Randall Park Mall, which you know. And you can get all these shoes, you know. It was uh, everything was obtainable. You can walk in at three thirty in the afternoon and buy the bread elevens. They're just sitting there, one hundred twenty six dollars. Yeah, two thousand one. Yeah, that Christmas. Yeah, there was so many black and red elevens that Christmas. It was like they were they actually went on sale. Like that was the only time I remember that happening. Was yeah, they still get pairs in early oh two on sale. They were just sitting there. They were just sitting there. It was really cool because I actually um. I ran into, um, which I know you probably heard of him, Doughboy, the rapper, mm -hmm. um, from, from Cleveland. 
I was working downtown and uh, I ran into him and he actually gifted me a pair of his shoes, the, <laughs> the fives, yeah, which is actually pretty cool. So I kind of, I made like a little shrine, as you can see. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Nice. He's got a small foot, though. He's uh, eight and a half, you uh, know, so I'm, yeah. And you just look at that. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm like, man, it's crazy. And then, you know, I know you like, I'm sure you've got these in your collection, the Converse's or whatever. This the, uh, this is the, um, oh, yeah, I actually got I got there in this these NBA Jam boxes back here. Yeah, yeah, I had well, it had I had to go because it had to go on top of my MG, NBA Jam arcade. So yeah. I got them just. Yeah. You, know. <laughs> you always got a sitting on a bunch of cool shit, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since yeah. I know you, I'm like, let's do it, man. It's props. Yeah, no, I've been doing it for a long time, man. You know, because you know we've always chopped it up. You know, every time we see each other, mm. and um, you know, I I just like, you know, the stuff. The Gary Paytons, Chris Webbers, you know, I like the the stuff that we went to school with, and you know, yeah, you know, I'm not a hype beast, never been. I just get stuff that you know, we uh, we collect, you know, the stuff that we had when we were kids, mm. you know, that we wore. You know, I mean, back, back in '96 when when these did come out, I remember having these, and these were like, you know, everybody was like, man, you got the you know the Grant Hills. These were like a hot shoe back in the day, you know. These yeah. were. These and the Concords were in competition, That's what I, you know? I was about to say. And, and when I was in ninth grade, 95, 96, the rich kids and the, the drug dealers had both. But you either had one or the other, you know? Those yeah. Hill 2s were everywhere. Yeah. They were bigger than one. They did a lot, lot of chores and stuff to get money to be able to get this, this shoe. And, man, I'll tell you what. It was this, and I had the Barry Sanders, too, the Zoom Turfs, the blue the blue and the, you know, the ones with the strap on them. Mm -hmm. I was like, man. And then I had the Kenny Lofton's Diamond Thieves. Oh, man, okay. I wish they were retro. Man, <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been looking on eBay for years for those things, and it's like, you can't find yeah. them. You can't find them. Every time I've seen them for sale, they've always been like. A size six or something. Or yeah, five. a GS size or mm -hmm. uh, a preschool size or something, a three. I'm like, damn. Yeah, you know, that was it. wasn't his shoe, but it was his shoe. You know what I'm saying? So right. I, 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 to have a, a somebody from Cleveland with a Nike, you know, before LeBron, that was a big deal. Oh, I always sure. wanted those for sure. Diamond, yeah, Hiker that brought out the Diamond Thief. Oh man, yeah, the Diamond Thieves, man. Those that was, you know, that was back when the Indians were in the World Series. You know, and it was, you know, I had those shoes and. I even I remember those in the Gary Paytons, you know, when you had the Gary Paytons, the gloves and stuff. I mean, that's 98. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was that, that was those were the years, man. I think the 90s, I think, was for the shoe culture. It was a lot different because you didn't have the Internet. You didn't know it was coming out. You just went off of like what East Bay had and they were telling you, hey, what's coming out? You know, and you go to the mall and you're like, oh, wow, these dropped. And you didn't have all that. You know what I mean? You just knew what was coming out that weekend. You know what I mean? When you go to the mall. Yeah. You didn't really have, you know, like it is now. They're telling you, hey, what's coming out a year from now? You know what I mean? You just, <laughs> you know, you just went off with the East Bay catalog. You know, you get that Christmas catalog and you're like in heaven, you know? It was crazy. It was definitely, um, those were the good times, man. That's, you know, sure. starter jackets, the pullovers, you know, that was, you know, I had the Orlando Magic pullover jacket and they had the hats with the tie on the back, you know, the winter oh. hats. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. that yes yes I've, I've been looking for one of those but you can't find them you know I, I tried sourcing to try to find them on ebay you know that vintage but it's hard to you know try to find that you know that's like the like the crisscross era days you know back in crisscross you know you know so body by nature used to wear those a lot too body uh, by nature used to wear those a lot oh too. yeah yeah trench trench yeah trench. yep 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 mm -hmm. yeah that was that, that, that was classic you know yeah. i mean definitely you know yeah chris I, I got to get you on an episode of Shorty Sneaker Conversations, man. I got to have you on there, sure. man. Sure, I would love to do a, I would love to do an episode with you, you know, so I'll, I'll be more prepared and I'll have, you know, all my shoes because they're got them all, you know, I have them everything categorized and it's like I got to dig it out and I'm still putting my shoe room together. I've been slowly but surely trying to put it together, you know. I'm actually outgrowing my room, my sneaker room. It's crazy. I have stuff up stuck, stuck upstairs. It's like it's crazy, you know. But it's 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 a love, you know. It's a love for sneakers, you know. 
I, I that's my, my passion, you know, so I definitely, you know, but you and me, I mean, we know, you know, Mr. Allen's, you know, back when you can go in and get the, you know, the, like the Zen Gray 11s, a lot of people don't know about the low tops, you know, with nah. the gray, you know 2001. I mean? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Allen's 60, it was like 60, 67 bucks. I think I got a pair for, you know, mm. and that was, that was cheap. You know, that's when the citrus 11s and all that was dropping. So it was definitely, it, that was like an air. I don't know. To me, that's like when I really enjoyed collecting, you know, with the sneakers, you know, back then I remember getting the Royal, the, the, the Royal uh, blue ones at, uh, what was it? Um, Athletics foot and uh, Randall park mall. Mm -hmm. I remember when I got those. Yeah, it was upstairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know all about it. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Those were the days, man. Those were definitely the days where you can, you know, just buy whatever you wanted and you bought what you liked, you know. Mm -hmm. That that was the – now it's just so – everybody's so hyped about, you know, a collaboration of a Travis Scott or whatever. And, you know, I go to these sneaker conventions and it's not like – like I went to sneaker con this, this past year and it's like – you see one pair of shoes, like you'll see a pair of Thunder Fours, and you'll see like a hundred pairs of the same shoe. Like when I go to a sneaker, like you go to sneaker con, you're looking for something that you don't see every day, you know. And that's what I think. That I don't know. It's kind of lost. It's you know, when sneaker con first came around, I think it was back in like 2012, 2011, I think, when they started the one in Independence. Mm -hmm. That was like their first one that they brought to Ohio, Cleveland. I yeah, think that was, that was it was 15. Yeah, 15. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. When they brought that here, um, you've seen a lot more different, you know, a lot more of a, a selection, you know. Now it's just, you know, you'll see the last three months of releases when you go to a, a sneaker convention, you know. And it's like, I would like to just go there just to display my collection and you see, like, you know, the older. And, and you, you know, because you have an extensive collection yourself. So um, only the real OGs and the sneakerheads could really appreciate, you know, all the shoes, you know. I don't go on the value of what a shoe's worth. I just go on what I like, you know. Yeah. Man, I feel it. I yeah. feel it. Yeah. A lot of guys, they just buy shoes, they're hyped up, and they're like, oh, we got to get a Travis Scott, you know, six or whatever, because it's, you know. No, I just buy what I, you know, I like. I got you. I got you. Just the pa yeah. passion of the sneakers, man. The For passion sure. of the sneakers. For sure. Well, look, Hit me, hit me in the uh, the DM. Let me know what what times you're available so we can uh, we can do a sneaker conversation. Yeah, that would be good, man. That would definitely be good. I would I would love to uh, get on with you and uh, we'll do a sneaker episode. That I think that would be really cool. Definitely. For sure, man. For sure. Well, I'm gonna go ahead. I need to run these shoes back for the people. All right. Um, that missed it. But hit me up. Let me know when I you're definitely available. Do that man, and you have a happy New Year, man. It was good talking too, to you and good seeing you. All right. Thanks. For all right, take Being care. Being on, man. All right. So, mm. peace. All right. Shout out Mustang, Chris Hiker. You know, he's he's a big time OG in Cleveland. So, I'm going to run the shoes back for y'all. Now, there are two honorable mentions that aren't here. Um, the first one is the uh, Air Jordan 6 Toro Bravo. Mine is an honorable mention just because my pair didn't really come – had a lot of blemishes on it. And then um, the other would be the Eric Bikini OG watercolor way. I should have brought both of these because I was at my storage earlier. But, you know, I kind of had my mind focused on one shoe. So anyway, other than that, um, the next shoe that's an honorable mention were these Akron Impresto's here. I got these in the bins at the Goodwill outlet in Greensboro, and these were like $4, you know, because they sell stuff by the pound. So um, I was able to get these for the low, you know, for, for next, next to nothing. Uh, the next pair, or I should say it's a tie between the Casino Weapon and the Fragment Weapon. Since they're so similar, you know, I just, that they're, they're tied. So after the honorable mention, we go to number 10, which was the um, the Chuck Taylor, Kith, and Disney collaboration for Mickey's 90th birthday. These are from 2019. Uh, I paid about 90 for these. Usually when I see these in my size, they're about 250. 
just because they're kind of rare and larger sizes. So it was a big deal, me finally getting a pair of these. And these are my first, these were my first Kith Converses. So um, got these a couple months ago, and I've worn them once. So this was number 10. Uh, number nine is another Chuck 70. You got the Tom and Jerry's right here. All of this is embroidered. Um, definitely another one. Usually when I see these, these be like 350 in my size. I was able to get a pair of these for 120. So uh, really excited to have these. Um, then after this, uh, what are we on? Number eight. Number eight is the 1978 Timberlands. I got these from Uptown Chief. Skate. I haven't worn or cleaned these. They're still still $64.99. These are $250 whenever Timberland decides to bring them back, and I always miss them. So to finally have a pair of these, you know, it's got some Timberland sands on the inside there. Um, these were a big deal for me. Um, so these are number eight. Number seven is the Rick Owens Converse Turbo Weapon. Um, this is in the Larry Bird colorway. You see it's got the uh, Converse on the inside there. Um, it's got the fat laces. It's got the Rick Owens, the uh, Dark Shadow logo right here. Um, I love these. These came out in January. I uh, got these. I found them on Poshmark, and they're like 150 which is very cheap for Rick Owens because when I was looking for these on GOAT, they were like, in my size, they were almost 400 you know, because that leather is just so, hmm. So, welcome to everybody coming in. What's up? I love kicking with locks. What's up, Meek? So yeah, this is this is number seven. Um, number six is the Stussy Converse Pro Leather. So you got the Stussy branding and the Stussy branding on the inside here. I can't really see it, but y'all see it. Um, these are from 2012. I've been wanting these for some years. Usually when I see these in my size, they 250, 300. I ended up finding these, I want to say on Depop, and they were like $74. So, um, yeah, yeah, I love these. So these are our, our, our number six. Uh, number five. The Air Penny One Home. I ended up thrifting these at Uptown Cheapskate. Um, they came with the box, and they were sixty nine ninety nine. And then I had a, I think I had a coupon, so they were actually a little cheaper. But I've never had these. I have the, I've been had the other two OGs, the All Star and the, um, you know, the Orlando. But I never had these. I didn't have these back in the day, and they never retroed them. So. <sighs> These are number five. Uh, number four is the Air Jordan 8. This is the playoff pair. This is the 2023 retro. I was with Real Big Al Kicks and QC, Q, eh, damn it, Keandra, QC Kiki Cutie. <laughs> we were all together for my birthday hanging out in Durham, and these were at the South Point. Uh, Durham uh, Play-Dohs, and they were ended up being 60 bucks. You know, they still so new. They had the Nike Air on the inside and the box. The, the You know, the only thing that was missing was the box. So this was a, a real big deal getting these. I feel like since I ain't really getting no birthday gifts, um, the good Lord gave these to me himself. So these are number four. Uh, number three is the Larry Bird Converse Weapon. Um, these are just so high on the list just because they're so hard to find. I've been looking for years for these. For as prevalent as the Converse Weapon was in the early 2000s, it's so hard to find this colorway. You can find the Magics. You can find other colors, but the birds are just so hard to come by. Shout out to everybody joining. Neo Chasing, uh, Empress, Sub. D Doc. So yeah, these are so 
so hard to come by. So, you know, yeah, that early t- 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 Al, I know you ain't got to show up, man. Just get on here for a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? But yeah, this this is this is number three. It's so hard. I found pause. It's so hard to find these. I found these on Poshmark and it was fifty five dollars. So I got real lucky with those. So yeah, it's, it's it's a good time. It's a good time. So I'm about to show y'all the two more shoes. Hey, yo, what's up with the pause though? <laughs> yeah, you know I stopped and it's like it's hard. I'm like, oh, pause. You know? <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, not much, man. I'm actually on the bench tonight, man. I'm not even going out, man. What? Yeah, yeah, man. I caught, my daughter gave me her cold, so you know I had to, you know, I had to had to chill tonight. Yeah, but I, I, I see the converses. I'm in that weapon. Yeah, that that weapon. I hope I hope we can get a good retro of all those early two thousand retros, man. That'll be dope. Yeah, I just the, the one thing though. Mm-hmm. I think I do something about this chipping you know what i'm saying yeah like, that's the thing i don't mind these because it's just frame underneath uh-huh. so they're just gonna look old but you know even on the tongue it's starting to chip a little bit you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. usually when i see these when i see them they're, they're usually four or five hundred dollars whatever it's like come on man yeah. come on man. Yeah, man they need to give them they got to give them this leather you know what i'm saying right. give them that leather. <laughs> All right, so you give me that white and red, that Lakers, man. Yeah, man, see, let me show you these right quick. These really could have been on the list, too. I forgot all about them. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, you good. Um, you good. They weren't on the list because they're just, they were, uh, um, these were uh, offer up finds. Those are the ones, man. You see, it's chipping. I only wore these bitches once. Man, and look. And this, the Chevron. <laughs> See? Hey, hey, look, you gotta have a throwback Dr. J or the Hawk. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I bought these off this old old white dude on offer up and they were like twenty dollars. I met the nigga at High Point. Wow. So yeah, this was in the summer. So um but yeah, whoever had them, I mean I think he just thrifted these bitches, but whoever had them, I mean they didn't they ain't keep them well because I got Old ass weapons and none of them are fucked up like this. Wow. So you know, but it's all good. Yeah, they need to give us some 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 good leather. Or either here, I'm gonna show you right quick. Okay. They need to do this. They uh I was gonna wear these today, that's why they out, but they need to do this. Yeah. You got a suede. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 had a suede. Just had a suede. I'll pick it just like that. Yep. Now, I ain't going to lie. Having the other... Pi- uh, I might as well get these. Uh, see, uh, these look more OG than this. This is It's like two purple. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's two purple. Shout out to everybody joining. Brown yeah. Sugar Polo R13. Gay bass fishing. What up, up DC? Oh, boy. Yeah, Gavin, what's good, family? So, yeah, but you see, even these bitches is chipping like a motherfucker, but it's like it's dark underneath. So, even though it's not really purple, mm-hmm. it still mm-hmm. looks OG. Like, this is, I love this. It's, it's, it's too purple. <laughs> it's too purple. Doesn't match the jerseys the way you want it to. Nah, man. Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't even wear either of these. I, I ended up wearing my Pro Stars. My, uh, oh. <sighs> These bitches. Okay. 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 This was the shoe he wore before the wedding. Yep. So I just wore these. But uh, so. Jordan wore the uh then Jordan went like the one mm-hmm. with the Carolina Blue. Yep. 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 Alright, well while I got my boy on here, I'm gonna show y'all my last two. So this this is number two. This is the Converse made in main boot. Only way you can tell it's Converse is by the little all-star right there. These were hand cobbled in Maine. They only made 80 of these. 80? They only made 80 of these. These bitches only came out in a couple of boutiques in New York and a couple of boutiques in Boston. Damn. They only made 80 of these bitches. They were hand cobbled personally. They show, I saw a video of them. I ended up finding these on, off her up on Christmas. The chick had them in like Wyoming or something like that. 
she she wanted like 150 for him so we ended up working out a better price but yeah when these bitches came out in 2012 they were 350. are they individually well, numbered nah i haven't seen no numbering on them everything because i've seen uh articles on hype beast complex where they were talking about these when they came out but that my bad there wasn't no numbers on them it just says um that they only were limited to 80 80 pairs and they got a vibram sole and this is horween leather so horween most... see cats don't know about the horween nah. joints man i remember, uh, you, you remember the horween uh new balance joints i remember that i got some horween stan smith oh um, so man i might got a horween jacket i gotta find it man yeah 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 <laughs> that's that good leather man that's it hey larry v trying to come in i'm gonna let him come in too Oh, what's that? What's up, Larry? Yeah, let me get him in here. What's up, hey. Kicks Fiend? What's up, LTK Kicks? Hey, what's up, man? OG. What's up, fellas? What's up, How you man? Feeling, man? How y'all doing? How you feeling? Good, Great. man. Just talking about these top 10 pickups of the year, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, uh, I don't even know if I had 10 this year. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, just show us a little something. We love to see it. I'm at a. Uh, uh, kind of similar situation as you. I'm setting up in a new place, and I got stuff in 20 different places. So this is kind of favorite ones that I've got nearby, at least, I guess. So uh, it's from a few years back. It's a 1300 ER. Woo! I think it was about, I think it was about 2015. Yep. And I actually, I had those when they came out, and they were a little bit too big. So I got rid of them. I never found another pair until this year. So I was kind of pumped on those. Had the box and everything. Uh, I used to uh, have them, dope. but they were a 13, so I ended up giving them to my friend. Yeah. This one, uh, I've got other pairs, but this was much, much cleaner. Ah, uh, uh, shit. You see that box, Al? Uh, ah, it's a size 10. <laughs> <laughs> so... Most people probably don't know or care about these, but I thought you guys might, uh, might yo, appreciate them. Yo, they bring those back. That's Me and Dan were talking about those, yeah. The preseasons. Big, big hurt, yep. Big hurt. Yeah. yeah. If Dan, back when they had real, real hex real light, hex you know, it's like. Light. Hey, Dan, if you if you still on here, Dan, this is the pair I was talking about. That's the exact yeah. pair. I actually, I had the cleats of these when I was in Little League. Big hurt. Big Hurt and Griffey was my, you know, that's my two guys. Right. So uh, back in 94, Griffey didn't have anything signature yet or anything like that. So these were my cleats back then, and I could not pass up on a dead stock, really clean pair of those. That is dope. Uh, what else here? Speaking of junior, I th thrifted these. I don't usually get too lucky, but the Ooh. backwards hat, Air Max 90s. So it's kind of. I didn't even know. Griffey and, Air, Griffey and Air Maxes, so it's kind of combining two of my favorite. But, yeah, the 24 with the backwards hat. It's got it on the insole. Oh, that There's was hard. Cool, cool details. The end of the lace tips, that's the way he would uh, tape up his grip on his bat with the white tape. So it's – they had a lot of cool stuff, baseball stitching on the upper. So these were these were pretty cool. I was glad to find those for a, for a nice price. Uh, let's see. Like I said, this is just random. What I got this year that was also nearby. Uh, another pair I got a few of, but I found a pair that was at least intact. The Diamond Fury 2s that most people, you know, haven't seen in a Kenny while. Lofted's. We were just talking yeah. about those earlier. Yeah. He actually, his cleated version, he had a low top uh, in the cleats that I never have found after all these years, but... Yeah, back oh when God. it was like, how many how many swooshes can we fit on a single <laughs> shoe, you know? <laughs> this little one on the tongue and all up and down, you know. But, yeah, I've got a few of these, but these were still intact. One piece, midsoles, not completely falling apart. So, uh, again, stuff most people could care less about, but I thought, thought you guys and some of the folks on your feed might uh, might appreciate those. Let's see. Uh, these were cool. Just a uh, trail running shoe, but 
Pegasus 3 trail, Ooh. I actually got to go out west and do a little hiking and stuff, and these were these were quite handy. They were comfortable like a running shoe, but they've got kind of a grippy outsole, so I actually did some hiking with these. They're one of my favorite shoes that I've worn a lot this year. Uh -oh. Uh, nothing oh, crazy, just nothing crazy, just a good, comfortable pair. These, uh, you know, they retroed the the two, but they've never retroed. I don't think the original Air Span. Oh, man. Um, what eighty nine? I guess oh. when these came out, but yeah, those in the staff. Absolutely. Any of these with the shimmer nylon, like these classic runners, Phylon midsole, so they're not going to crumble. I'm sure they'll probably come unglued at some point, but. These things are still still wearable, which is kind of crazy. Fine. Um, so, so maybe they maybe they retro these someday. But we got the twos, and they were actually pretty decent. Span yeah. twos were pretty good. Uh, one more. It's another another vintage pair. Um, I've got another pair. Got another pair of. You know, uh, I got those in my air business, alarms. Business reply by mail, <laughs> serious, serious stuff. But you just don't see these very much. Ooh, ooh. The, yeah, uh, oh, geez. The blue spark, spark colorway that, you know, we got that white retro when they retroed the twos. Mm -hmm. What was that, 2011? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't, it wasn't anything like this. So anytime I see a pair of these, I'm kind of like, do I need another pair of shoes that I can't wear? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I do. But oh man! I wish you know they all cut up. I wish you could see through you know OGs when they had. That's my favorite thing. Walking through the mall, you know, mm -hmm. 90, 96, 97, Flip all the shoes over, see what's up. You know, what was the the diamond or the. the the, the DTs, the Dion's, the threes with had his, his had his had his picture up in there. You know, I was just like every every shoe, I'd flip them over and see what what Nike had put in there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, man, that's most of it. Um, I've got a, a something else I got that's sneaker adjacent, not sneakers directly, but I got a I got a lot with some East Bay's from back in the day, off of off of eBay. I kept all of my East Bays all the way through. I was out of college, and then I got rid of them at some point. I don't know why, but um, to this day, I regret it. And so I found, you know, six or seven for sale, and this is just, I mean. Oh, man. Look at the 90s. This was it. it. You know, fifth, fifth grade, sixth grade, this was what was getting passed around school, you know. Yep. Like, who cares? <laughs> I mean, look at look at the look at this on the back. Look at just the back. This one pair. Barry, Griffey, the slant pants, the vapors. You never see those. I mean, so most of these that I picked up were from, you know, '96. But there's there's one that was from '94, and I saw something. I knew a Paige Chris would uh oh, shit. would go nuts over. He knows what's coming too. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> y'all i'm retired from sneakers when that was retro hey, hey. yeah Look i had the blue LWP one but i never too. had that tail one i had the blue one but never had yeah the tail one. Oh, i've God. had both of these yeah. at some point i've actually got a i got a pair this year from a friend that are you know obviously unwearable and borderline falling apart but uh yeah, yeah it's crazy just flipping through these things man it's it's unreal just the nostalgia and People, you know, y'all were saying it earlier. People don't understand what it was like back in the '90s, man. Just the new East Bay came out. You just you go to the mall and look around, see what was there, and all of it. Yep. Trying to see what else, but that's it, man. I just had a few random things I thought y'all might get a kick out of. Oh so. man, thanks. Now we still got. <laughs> yeah, man. Gotta, we still got to do a sneaker conversation, Larry. I know, man. It's been uh, this last year. And a half a couple of years i've just been working non-stop and i remember when you first started doing those we were chatting about it and i was hoping i was going to be number 24 because wow. i was like man i'd be i'd be griffy you know be, be the 24th one of those and now you're on hundreds i don't even know what you're on now it's been a long time yeah. that's cool that you're still doing those yeah 142 man that's crazy 
it's cool that you do those though. It's a lot of fun. Whenever I catch them on, I try to jump on for a few minutes. But hey, happy New Year, mm-hmm. you fellas! I appreciate y'all for sure, man. Good hanging out, but yeah, good to finally see you, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you too. Good right, to see man. you guys. Y'all have a good one, man. All right, you All right too. talk to you soon. See ya. Uh, man. Yeah, that was so dope, man. This is number one. That's number one. This is number one. Okay. This is number one. So one, two, three. Uh, fuck. What was four? Oh, four. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, dope, ten, honorable mention. Honorable mentions. Oh, you got the frags up there? Okay. Yeah, they're they're a tie. These were also honorable mention. These acronyms. You remember how I found those? And then, uh, the Toro Bravo Six and the Kikinis were like the other two honorable mentions. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say no love for the Kikinis, man. Man, I I, don't, I was just at the storage after I got off work, and um, they were like right there. Those and the Toro Bravos, and I, I didn't bring them. Like I wasn't gonna do this, so mm. I don't know. So I, I didn't even. I even cop those tour bravos. I probably should have, but I don't know why I didn't cop them joints. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, de- this definitely been a good sneaky year, man. It's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. I know we do this top ten tomorrow, man. It's gonna be a few doubles, man. It's gonna be a lot of ties, multiple colorways of certain shoes, like the uh, flight Hirachi. Mm-hmm. You know, that was one of my, that was one of my favorite pickups, both colorways. And then that black and blue, and it was just so easy just to pick up. So, yeah. I mean, you know how I feel about the Jordan 8, the playoffs. Then the playoff 13s. Tell you, I get get, get rich. I'm going to have T Pain come and just say, Damn, Jordan 8. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have it recorded and send me the, the file or something. <laughs> <laughs> you posted up. <laughs> Damn, Jordan 8. <laughs> Yeah, the so. JD, JD Sports with those 95s, those two, just those two colorways. I knew those um, was going to be on there for you. Oh, you already know, man. You, you um, was pumped for a couple weeks over that. I, yeah. I was happy for you. <laughs> yeah, man, especially that reverse, that reverse Neon, man. That was actually a surprise. That was like the best. To me, that's the best 95 this year. That's like. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, super, it's super clean, man. Just a super clean, simple. It ain't nothing really special. There's no collab. It's just a clean, so, clean colorway. Mind you, the old days. I'm going to put this in the air. Now, I know we're just going into 2024. Mm-hmm. 2025 is still a year away. I'm putting it in the air. It's going to be the, what, 30th anniversary of the 95? Yep. So I need slates, comets. The real comments, not that one black lace loop and the little flowers on the bottom. A real <laughs> comment. Slates, real grape without the snake skin. Mm-hmm. Some retro white, black, and emerald that only showed up on the greedy 2.0. Yep. And the neon. Neon, I, yep. I need all the OG colors of the 95. All of them. So it's not just it's about the neon. We all love the neon. Mm-hmm. I, need, I need the slate. Even Hell, bring out some of the '98. That's all. Just get ready to say some of the stuff from '98. The pools, yeah, the pools. Those those moss ones that I showed you. Yeah. Yep. Yellow can come back. '99 mm. can come back. Yeah. Yeah, they can they can do it, man. It'll be it'll be good to see 
all this stuff. And I'm trying to think of another colorway. The safety yard. You said the safety yards, right? Bring that back too. Yep. So yeah, even Larry said the safety yards. Yep. Yeah. 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 I need. I need them all. I need them all. Like I'm telling. Like I ain't waiting for no Nike discount for these. I'm just buying these. Okay. <laughs> it's no question. I'm just going to get it. Just like, you know, I'm like that about the, the piece raid too. Piece raid too. Yep. If they ever give us more regular Air Max 96s and not the 96 too, I need the Scream Green and the Concord because I had <laughs> both of those. I still have my stream greens, but you know they're in pieces. And um, <sighs> bring back the f fucking ubiquitous. Yep. Call of the day. They brought hey. back all of that. The um, my tunes are coming back next year. The the blue is back. The the hyper blue is coming back next year. Yeah, the hyper blue. Up. Yeah, the, the tigers coming back. Um. I think they said the Olympic is coming back. Yeah, bring them all. Yeah, bring, bring them all. <laughs> Larry said he got like seven pairs of 96s. <laughs> yeah, like my Concord 96 lasted until 2013, and my Scream Green lasted until I think the last time I wore them was in like 2018. So they actually beat the – they were like, yo, Mystic Teal 96 twos where – but – of my shit got fucked up in the move, man. Hey, hey yo, those shoes still going strong too. That's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> they still strong, yeah. They, they still held on. I wore them this morning for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I only do ninety and ninety-five. Shout out T twenty-one D's, the OG, uh, and Nike Talk, uh, peeps. You know. Oh yeah, yeah DC. We, I think we missed those Olympic. Did they? Did they retro the Olympic try try? I yeah. know Larry. You might know. Yeah. I think yeah, Larry they retro them. They retro them. I, I feel silly having the white, black, and red and the OG blue and not having the, the Olympic one. I got that bogus uh, camo one that was limited. Mm -hmm. got that. Like, I definitely, but they don't really go for that much. much. To me, they kind of be priced like how that 92 Pegasus USA, usually they'd be around 100. They don't be that much. Right. So. Um, um, if anybody got a, if anybody got like a ten or a ten and a half in that blue that triax, I got a nine and a half. I'm trying to swap it. It's dead stock. Like it's dead. Yeah, man. I, I really want that blue one. Yeah, that was the one. Like everybody had them bitches uh, at my high school. Everybody. Yeah, had I got the white, red, and black. I got that one. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, it, it was just you. I, I, when I see that shoe, I see thick champion sweats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cats is wearing mm -hmm. the uh the 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 ninety six Olympic shirts and all of that shit. <laughs> Atlanta, the green was yeah. The, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yep, I remember all of that. I remember seeing the gear at um uh Endicott Johnson, you know what I'm saying? And Sears and JC Penny. That that's who sold all that stuff. I have one of those crew necks, the green one with the Atlanta, the 96. I thrifted it a few years ago. You got the torch on it, too? Yeah, it's got a hat. It's all embroidered. It's a yeah. store somewhere. I got to find it. But that's why I need them scream greens. You know what I'm saying? That's why I need Yeah, you got to have those, the concords, like you were saying earlier. Like, like when they did the 96, was it 21? It was the 25th anniversary, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think they missed the opportunity, man. Sometimes Nike misses the mark on stuff like that that could come out. Like the year they did the um the other Air Max too. The um they had the purple one and they had the one with the teal on it. Oh, okay. You know what, you yeah. know, you know what I'm talking about? They could have did they could have did the one that you want. They could have did that one too. But like they like they just missed the mark, man. Yeah, shout out to everybody joining me and my brother, real big Al kicks. Yeah, man. Well, look, I'm almost out of battery life, so I'm gonna close it down. Are you like able to talk? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm gonna call you in a minute. Thank you, everybody, for joining. What's up, Antonio? Love you, my boy. Al, I'm gonna call you in a minute. All right, peace to everybody. Happy New Year to y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace. peace.